What's up, you guys? It is Klautos. I've been getting a lot of requests to see my build that I did on the Xbox 360. And I don't have a capture card yet, so I can't record videos directly from the Xbox. So until I get one <clears throat> here in uh, a couple weeks or so, um, I figured I'd just do a slideshow. So I grabbed some... Um, images from various points in the build and I'm just going to go over them with you so <clears throat> this uh, first picture is uh, Booger Man this has nothing to do with the build but <laughs> the build is called Booger Town because Booger Man is the first thing I did in it so uh, yippee um, okay so the first one this is the general kind of idea of the thing I wanted to do something round and big so um, I got this idea from uh, fusion productions vid and I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check out his channel this guy is a crazy awesome builder and um, he has a lot of really cool ideas so a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff in my build comes from um, stuff he did in his channel um, not exact copies. I kind of, you know, put my own twist on things. But uh, anyway, so um, this is, um, I don't remember the exact width of it. I think it's 120 blocks in diameter. And <clears throat> this was done before um, they raised the build limit in uh, on the Xbox. So the highest point there at the top of the middle, middle tower is uh, cloud level. And, um, yeah, so this is a uh, creative mode legit, which means, um, you know, there's no copy and paste, you know, single player commands like there is on the, um, on the PC. So I had to place every single block and it's, it was incredibly tedious, especially getting these towers to all be identical from block to block. Um, especially once they raised the build limit and I had to make everything taller <laughs> so um okay so this next picture is the garden district which is um one of the quadrants of the build and uh again this is before upside down stairs uh before the height limit um this is just kind of a little garden area i made a big tree and inside the big tree there's a there's a secret entrance you can go up through the middle of it and there's a little room up there um here's another view with the sculpture and stuff it's pretty cool um here's another shot of the sculpture uh close up it looks really cool at night so i had to shoot it um this is once i completed building all of the quadrants on the inside and uh that the one in the back there uh you see that building it's uh four stories high I ended up tearing that down and replacing it, which you'll see later on. So, um, there is a garden district, which you can see there. There's a, um, a market district, which you can see at the bottom. Uh, the place with the big building, that is the sort of uh, uh, guard or military training area. Uh, and in the back, when I took this shot, that back area was empty. So this is inside of one of the um, one of the towers, and every one of these towers is identical to the block, which was incredibly time consuming and tedious to do. So this is the first floor <clears throat> on the uh, on one of the the towers, and here's the second floor. This is the inside of the main tower in the in the center. And um, I ended up completely redoing this interior because it was just too, too much stairs and just it became asymmetrical and um, just just too cluttered. I didn't I didn't like it. So um, I don't think I have any pictures of how it is now, um, but, you know, I'll upload one later. You'll see it when I do the walkthrough. Um, 
the thing about this build is that it's it's round and there really is no front of the place so when i came to the middle tower i had to figure out how to scale the tower like how do you get up to the top and without blocking off one of those doors you know so i came up with this idea and i ended up trashing it later um this is underground if you look um here you can see some um like a hole in the middle there's a stairway going down and it leads to this which is the big underground sort of throne room chamber dining hall place and um it goes way back there and there, there's automatic lights you push a button and and it lights up on the top i don't have them turned on here and if you look along the sides there you can see um little passageways those passageways lead to little apartments that um <clears throat> you know people can live in and there are 16 eight on each side um and each side has four on bottom four on top and here's what one of those apartments looks like on the inside they're all furnished and um this is the living area and you can see the kitchen back there there's a bathroom and a bedroom there too this is the view from the hallway on the second floor looking at the at the hall and this one is uh the view from the throne so another cool thing about this um throne is that there's uh you can't really see it here but there's a block right in front of you before the um the fire and if somebody wants to come and build in my world they have to stand there approach the king and they have to convince me that they're not going to grief my world and if i believe them i let them build if i don't believe them then there's a button i can push which is off to the left here and the floor drops out underneath them and they fall down into this pit like a like a prison cell and they're stuck there and there's a uh, I don't have any pictures of it but um when I do the walkthrough you'll see um and there's a um it's like a a pit and I can open the door from the top and they can get out and there's if they if they redeem themselves then I can let them back into the city. I push a button, a door opens with a, with a stairway that leads them back up into this area. Or if I don't believe them, I can exile them by pushing another button, and it leads them on this long tunnel that I dug out that takes them all the way out into the middle of the desert. <laughs> it just drops them off up there. It's pretty cool. So when I do the the um, the walkthrough, I'll, um, I'll, I'll show that to you guys. So this is another view of the throne. And this is a view of the entrance to this underground area. And um, the stairs you can see going up to the top. And there's a door there that leads to an area that I haven't done yet. But it's going to be um, like a crypt, I think, or, uh, or a prison. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do back there. Um, yeah, so I haven't <laughs> I haven't really done anything to it. <clears throat> okay, so now once they raised the height limit, I was like, "Oh, great! I have to make all my towers bigger now." And so I did. And here's a bird's eye view. And I also uh, before it was just round, you know, and um, I added walls going all the way around it. So then. Once they increased the build limit, I did this. And as you can see, it is massive. And um, every place is reachable in survival mode. So, um, and that was kind of a pain in the ass to, you know, how do I get from the top of the one of the inner towers to the center tower? You know, and how do I get from the top of the center tower all the way down? I had to figure out a way to do stairs. I ended up doing uh, spiraling stairs, which I might, I might change. Um, this whole place doesn't have any ladders because I think ladders just are crappy. They don't really look that good. So <laughs> I didn't do any ladders. It's all stairs, which can be kind of a drag when you're hurting for space, but oh well. Here's another view in the daytime of the center tower. And uh, 
some of the, the catwalks and the stairs and stuff. And it is pretty fucking big. It is pretty big. Here's a view from outside the center um, sort of area. <clears throat> this is the uh, sort of the entertainment district, I guess. So I've got this cool feature here, which which I sort of took from uh, from Fusion. Um, he had a sword kind of like this, but um, it was pointing up, and I decided to add a warhammer to it. So there's that, and I think it looks pretty awesome. Right next to it there with the... Uh, the light uh, birchwood roof. That's a, a chessboard, and to the left of that, across the street, is a uh, there's a theater with a stage, and then directly to my left is a um, an arena with some stadium seating where you know people can fight. And there's a, an active uh, gallows there where you flip a switch and well, sort of a gallows, but you flip a switch, the floor drops out, and they fall into lava and die. So <laughs> if they lose the fight, that's what happens. So here's another view from uh, about midway up the tower. As you can see, this thing is huge. Uh, also, if you look at the top part of the screen, you can see I'm adding on an expansion. And um, I have uh, towers on it now on the expansion, but you can't see them here. Because when I took this picture, I didn't have the, the towers. But uh, I'm adding two new big areas to it. So here's the first one, and uh, in this one, I think I'm gonna do a massive um, cathedral with, uh, you know, it's gonna have like all kinds of spikes and stuff, and kind of like an evil looking place. This whole place has been kind of evil. I wanted to build a big mega fortress out of obsidian, <clears throat> and I think it came out pretty good, but if I were to make something out of obsidian again, I don't think I would because you can't have obsidian slabs or obsidian stairs. And so you're really limited by, by the obsidian as far as designs go, because it only comes in a, in a full block. So I don't think I'll do an obsidian build again after this one. Um, just because of that, I think my next one might be sandstone because I really like the way the sandstone looks especially the top of it. It's real smooth looking. I like it. So this is the expansion one. I'm building another expansion, which is actually going to come off of, well, it's there now, but I don't have a, a shot of it. Um, it comes off of the bottom right corner of this screen and it goes around the, uh, around the rest of the area. You'll see it when I, when I do the, uh, the walkthrough later on. Uh, but this area plus that area is massive and it's, um, it's not quite doubling the size of the whole thing, but it's probably increasing it by about a third, uh, or maybe half. So, um, yeah, so that'll be cool. And right, right now I've got towers on, on all the corners or both corners of this thing. And then once it starts to curve around up there, I've got two more towers where, where it starts to curve in there. So there are four towers. Um, on here right now and here's another shot from the very top of the center tower just so you can get an idea of how how tall this thing is and as you can see it it barely fits in the in the screen <laughs> so um <clears throat> actually the um the the expansion up there doesn't fit like if i were to turn around since i'm on the side of this tower the edge of the um of the other side is cut off from the chunk. So it actually doesn't fit all in one chunk. But um, anyway, so that's what I got so far. I'm going to um, get a um, video capture card for the Xbox here pretty soon, and I'll do a walkthrough. I know slideshows are kind of lame, um, but I've been people have been asking to see this, and, you know, they're like, oh, it's so awesome. You should put it on YouTube. I'm like, okay, so I made this channel just so I could, you know, feature it. And I'll probably do some other Minecraft type stuff on this channel too. Like, uh, I'll do some Let's Builds, you know, for some other stuff. Um, I might do a, a Let's Build when I'm doing the cathedral, just so you guys can watch me build it. Or, I don't know, I might time lapse it or something. Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you, uh, if you did, 
please uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be uploading some more stuff. Have a good one.